Hi guys, let's look at the last exercise of this chapter, exercise 21C. But before we start, let's just quickly revise what all we've done in exercise 1 and 2. We talked about volume of a cuboid in the first exercise and volume of a cube. This was length into breadth into height and this was length cube. Then we talked about total surface area which was 2 times length into breadth plus length into height plus breadth into height. In this case, this was 6L square. And then we talked about the lateral surface area, which is basically the surface area of the four walls, which was 2 times length plus breadth into height. And in this case, it was 4L square. That's what's our exercise number one. In exercise two, we talked about the cross section and we said this was in case of a uniform cross section. So all these questions are in exercise 2 are based on uniform cross section. We said volume is equal to area of cross section multiplied with length or height whatever you call it and then we said surface area which is excluding the front face which means excluding the cross section surface area is equal to perimeter of cross section multiplied with the length and then the final thing was the volume which comes out of a uh, which flows out of a liquid this was volume is equal to area of cross section multiplied with speed so this is what we've done in this chapter till now there is nothing new that i need to explain in this specific exercise so let's try and solve this exercise directly so I am on question number 2. It says auditorium length is 40 meter, 30 meter, or 40 meter by 30 meter into 12, 12 meter. This is a um, cuboid shaped uh, auditorium. Each student requires 1.2 square meter of floor area. Let me just try and draw a diagram. Let's see if this helps us understand this question better. Perfect. So then this is our auditorium done this is 40 meter the breadth is 30 meter and the height is 12 meter perfect so each student requires 1.2 square meter of floor area so what I'm marking and right right now which is the basically the floor of this uh, auditorium one boy requires 1.2 square meter of area Another boy requires 1.2 square meter of area. Third boy requires 1.2. We need to figure out how many students will fit in. And this is basis the floor area, which means we are talking about the floor area. So which means area of floor is equal to length into breadth. In this case, 40 meter into 30 meter, which is 1,200 meter square. Right. so this is... Uh, pure uh, unitary method 1.2 meter square is required by one student which means if we have 1200 meter square how many students will need it 1200 meter square will fit 1200 into 1 upon 1.2 which is 1000 students so that's the first part of the question 1000 students how many students 1000 next find the volume of air available for each student so first we'll find the volume of air in the full auditorium and divided by the number of students so volume of air in auditorium would be equal to length into auditorium will be equal to length into breadth into height that's 40 into 30 into 12 meter cube how much is available per student therefore volume of air for each student would be equal to total volume upon number of students in this case 1000 so 40 into 30 upon 12 divided by 1000 this was so this is 4 into 3 12 12 into 12 that's 144 144 divided by 10 that's 
14.4 meter cube. That's 14.4 meter cube. Done. That finishes this question for us. Let's look at the next question. The next question that we do is question number three. What the question says, internal dimensions of a rectangular box are 12 centimeter multiplied with X centimeter multiplied with 9 centimeter. Length on the longest rod which can fit in. So remember we talked about this. Uh, this is the diagonal that is we're talking about. The diagonal of a uh, cuboid. We also had a formula for the diagonal which I did not mention in the first slide that we just did. So what does this mean? It means that this, uh, sorry, it, let me just finish drawing this first. Done. So what does a diagonal mean? The longest diagonal which will fit in, if I draw it in a different color, will be from one end of this wall to the other end of the bottom end of the other side, which is diagonally opposite. Remember, we've done the formula. Uh, this is a diagonal of a uh, cuboid is equal to L square plus B square plus H square, the square root of it. In this case, diagonal is given as 17 centimeter. This is equal to L square, which in this case 12 square plus B square, in this case X square and H square, that's 9 square. Now squaring both sides because I need to find uh, the value of X, so squaring both sides what I get is 17 square that's 289 is equal to 144 that's 12 square plus x square plus 81 which means 289 minus 144 plus 81 that's 225 225 is equal to x square which means x square is equal to 64 therefore x is equal to 8 centimeter Done. Let's see what we have to find. Find x. Done. Let's look at the next question. The next question that we do is question number 3. Not question 3, question 4. I have written this wrong. This should be question number. This is question number 4, not 3. So this is question number 4, part 2. It says internal length, breadth and height of a cuboidical box are 30 centimeter, 24 centimeter and 15 centimeter. Find number of cubes of side 4 centimeter which can be placed within this box. We've done a question like this in the previous exercise. So let's just do it again. Okay. So number of cubes which would fit in lengthwise. Number of cubes which will fit lengthwise that would be equal to the internal length divided by the length of each cube. So this is 7.5. Now since 7.5 cubes is, uh, is in decimal, which means more than 7 but less than 8, which means 7 full cubes will fit. Therefore, 7 full cubes will fit. Next, uh, number of cubes which will fit breadth wise breadth wise this would be the breadth which is 24 upon length of each cube that's 6 so 6 will fit this is a whole number I don't have to worry about this number of cubes which will fit height wise so the height given is 15 centimeter and the length of each cube is 4 which means this will be 3.75 which means three full cubes will fit. So we will have three different rows like this. Now total number of cubes would be equal to seven multiplied with six multiplied with three. So that's seven into six, that's 42. 42 into three, that's 120. And six, that's 126. Therefore, 126 cubes will fit. Good. Simple one. Let's look at the next question. The next question that we do is question number five. Rectangular field is 112 meter long and 62 meter broad. Okay, so let's just draw a rough diagram first. Okay. 
this is the rectangular cube that they are rectangular field that they are talking about this is 112 meter long and 62 meter wide done cubical tanks of edge 6 meter is dug at each of the four corners okay so they are dug, digging a cubical tank of 6 meter which means something like this something like this on this end also and the same thing is repeated on this side and the same thing is repeated on this side done so this is six 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 and six and six and six and the depth is also six which i am not being able to show in this uh, this is the view from the top of the rectangular field so this is cubical tank is digged and each of the four corners and earth removed which means they remove some soil and the soil is evenly spread on the remaining field which means the soil is spread on what I am drawing with the red line. So the, the soil which comes out is, draw, is put on this much area. What we need to figure out is because they put sand in this the level will rise how much is the increase in the level so for that we'll figure out how much volume is being put in and then we'll figure out okay so number one volume of sand taken from one pit no, not one pit volume of sand taken from one tank because they're calling it tank so this is one tank this is uh, length into breadth into height which in this case is 6 into 6 into 6 meter cube which means volume of sand from four tanks will be equal to 4 multiplied with 6 into 6 into 6 meter cube so this is the volume which is being spread over the area that I have marked in red okay so volume of uh, so we don't need to write this we've already written this is the volume which is being spread over the area so now let's find out the area which is here and see if uh, we will be able to figure out the increase in length so let's find out the remaining area so remaining area of field is equal to total area of field minus area of four tanks so the total area which is this minus the area of the four tanks so minus this this area minus this area okay so this is the total area of the tank would be 112 into 62 meter square minus area of four tanks would be equal to four multiplied with area of one tank which is six into six because this is a uh, this face is a square so 112 into 62 that's something that i'll have to calculate four two two that's six into two twelve six into one six plus one seven that's six so four four nine six six nine four four meter square minus this is 36 into 4 that's 120 and 24 so that's 144 meter square which means this is 6800 meter square so this area of this which i'm uh, highlighting or uh, which i've shaded is 6800 meter square in which the volume that is being put is so much right so we know volume is equal to area multiplied by height so we know volume of sand would be equal to area of remaining field multiplied by the height which is how high it will be in this case area volume of sand is 4 into 6 into 6 into 6 which will be equal to area which is 6800 multiplied with height which means h is equal to 
4 into 6 into 6 into 6 divided by 6, 8, double 0. So this is 4, 1 and this is 4, 1700. Let's see if there is any other calculation possible or if we can, we need to divide it directly. Uh, this would be 6 into 6 into 6, that's 216 divided by 1700, zero, zero, dividing it by 4, this will be 454 and this is 4, 4 4 is a 16, that's 10, so that's 2 and this is 5. So this is 54 upon 425 meter. I will have to divide this separately. So let me just divide this. This is 54 divided by 425. That is, let's put uh, 0 decimal, which means it gives me 1, which means 1, 425. 10 minus 5 is 5. Four minus, 3 minus 2 is 1. 5 minus 4 is 1 which means 0, which means 2, which is 850. That gives me 0, 0, 3, another 0. 425 into 6 will be 2407. This should give me 7 into 5, that's 35. 14 and 3, 17. That's 2975. So this is 0 0.127. So this is 0 0.127 meter which can also be written as 12.7 centimeter. So the increase in height, so rise in level, rise in level is equal to 12.7 centimeter. Done. That brings me to an end of this video. I will uh, post a new video with the remaining questions. Take care, be safe. I'll see you with the next video. But before I go, some homework questions for you. So homework for you would be question number one from this exercise. Thank you so much. Bye. Take care.